The former employees appealed to the committee to summon stakeholders to explain the delays in the payment of their severance packages. The representative of ex-employees accused stakeholders of lacking empathy and disregard to their initial payment agreement of severance packages. He stated that their attempts to seek an audience with stakeholders had proven futile. They don't care. They don't have any empathy with the workers of Namibia. I was told, listen, we didn't close the airline. Why don't you go to the government of Namibia? Why don't you even come and protest here? Why are you protesting at Namibia? Now, those are public areas. We've got this affidavit on the last day of employment. Uh, this was a terms and condition. And please understand me clearly because it seems to me even the master of the high court do not understand the legalities of documents that are signed off under oath. This is an agreement, this is a contract. This is the last terms and conditions of termination. Among the various issues that the ex-employees intend to discuss are tax exemptions on their severance packages and a request of a 30% interest, citing that the payments that has now been delayed for a period of two years have adversely affected them financially. The petitioners were also unhappy that Parliament has not urgently addressed their situation despite having receiving two petitions. They implored upon the lawmakers to intervene. I don't want timelines. I don't want understanding. Because everywhere we go, no, we understand your situation. But when we walk out the door, there's no communication, there's no help. Then we have to come back. How hard is it to keep people's morale up? that there's no help from the people that we voted into power, that are supposed to be our elders, that are supposed to be our fathers and our mothers. I thought this is the house of Namibia. The chairperson of the Parliament Committee on Human Resources expressed sympathy on the employees and explained that the delays were not intentional. She clarified that petitions that Parliament receive undergo a process before they are submitted to the relevant committee for further action. The report will be open for you also to see what we have recommended and it will be open for debate and discussions. So the recommendation there will go to government and it's also for us as, as Parliament to supervise, to know what, what, what we have recommended, whether it is implemented or not. So you are in the good hands of, of, of Parliament, you came to the right committee. Air Namibia was formally liquidated in 2021 due to significant debts of over $3 billion. Government, as a shareholder, could no longer sustain the airline. The liquidation process has affected over 600 employees. Serafia Nadunya, NBC News, Venduk.